Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be talking about the Concept Builder on PhysicsClassroom.com in this topic of Newton's Laws titled Normal Force Card Sort. Okay, so in this uh, particular one, you're going to need to know two things. Uh, normal force, which we discussed in the Recognizing Forces uh, video. I'll link that here in case you want more detail. But normal force is a perpendicular force between two objects in contact. So, for example, the boy is touching the uh, little car, they are putting a force on each other. The ground is touching the car, they are putting a force on each other. Let's actually draw those. Okay, so the one that we really care about is, of course, the um, uh, cement putting a force on the car, because we'll care about how the car moves. Okay, um, at the same time, the weight of the car is the force of gravity on the object. Okay, so gravity is pulling this object down. Normally we'd put the normal force out from the center, but I wanted you to have a sense of that. So we have a downward and upward force, and we're going to be looking at how big those are compared to each other for an object. Because if we wanted to know uh, how big this car was, or how much mass this car was, we'd put it on a scale and we'd see how hard it's pressing down on the springs and the scale. What we're actually measuring is how hard those two surfaces are being pushed towards each other. In other words, the normal force. Okay, so if we have the most simple situation, and by the way, this is what it'll look like in each, each um, uh, question you're being asked. You'll have a, a, a mass and you'll have a scale. So in the simplest situation, the block is being pulled down by gravity and up, and it's being pushed up by the normal force. I should put an F grab there. Um, and those would be equal. If this object is not accelerating, there's nothing else touching the thing on the scale, then these would be equal. And so that's why we use this as a scale, because the normal force would equal the force of gravity and the force of gravity is the weight. So that's actually what we want to know, but we're actually measuring this one. Okay, but now let's say we pushed down on the top of this. Well, just like if you're standing on the bathroom scale and somebody comes up behind you and pulls down on you, um, then that's gonna make this read uh, bigger than your actual weight. The normal force will be bigger than your actual weight, okay? Um, however, if uh, somebody comes along and pulls up on the block, well, then that's going to make you lighter. or you, you lift up on the wall or something to make yourself seem lighter. Okay, your normal force is less than your weight. Okay. Um, and then finally, if we have arrows, let me clear that. If we have arrows going sideways, either like that, or you could have them pushing like this. The, the concept builder actually has fingers kind of pushing against it, representing an unknown amount of force. Okay, so these uh, pushing sideways, if they're pushing parallel to the surface of the two objects, it's not going to push either down or up. And so it will not change it. And in that case, it would be equal to the weight. Okay. Um, now, once you get to the master level and the wizard level, which the wizard level is just the apprentice and master combined, um, you will uh, have some weirder situations, okay? One of them involves uh, showing the acceleration of it as 9.8 meters per second squared, which hopefully you still recognize as um, the acceleration caused by gravity. But remember, that's only when it's in free fall. So because it says this, it means the block is still in free fall and therefore hasn't touched the scale yet. So because if there was a force from the scale on the block, it wouldn't accelerate this fast. OK, so since it's accelerating, that means that there's uh, the, just the force of gravity on it, which means that this would actually read zero. OK, all right. Um, once you get onto the master level, as I was starting, to, as I was saying, you'll see some that are in different positions like this. Like maybe there is um, a hand underneath this one pushing up. Well, we don't know how hard that hand is pushing. If it's pushing with like 10 million newtons of force, then these are going to be squeezed together by an awful lot of force 
and the normal force is going to be far bigger than the weight. But if there's barely more force than it takes to keep this off the ground, then it's barely going to be squeezing against that scale, and the normal force will be less than the weight. Okay? So in that case, the actual answer would be not enough information, because we don't know how hard that is pushing. Okay? So if an unknown force is, uh, is causing the weight to be... Um, is really affecting the weight here, then we know that it um, will be not enough information unless the force is pushing the same direction as the mass as we saw in the last slide. Then we know it has to be bigger. Okay, but if we can't tell, then it'll be unknown. Same thing up here. If we have a force pushing into the side here, we don't know how big it is. Right now, there's only frictional force between these two surfaces, and that won't register on the scale. Okay, no normal force, and we don't know how big that is, so it'd be unknown. This one is trickier. Um, this one at an angle here. And if you are like my students and we don't cover two-dimensional motion, you may not recognize what's going on here. So let me explain this. So this is our weight or the force of gravity. We have a normal force that's pushing perpendicular to the two surfaces because the two surfaces are here, or the surfaces are meeting there. And then we have uh, friction, which is keeping it from sliding down the block, the force of friction. Well, it turns out the force of gravity here is doing two things. It's, uh, let me draw the components here. It's got a component that's pulling it this way, and a component that's pulling it this way. Uh, you'll use geometry to figure that out if you were doing it, but what you need to know for this concept builder is that both of these components are going to be smaller than the whole force itself. And since the normal force, since this is not accelerating this way or this way, the normal force must equal this component, meaning not all of gravity, just some of it. Okay, and so the normal force will be less than the weight because of that. Okay? All right. So have fun. I tried not to give you all of the exact uh, ones so you can look at them and think, is this going to make these push together less than when it's just sitting on top of it? Are they going to make it push together more than when it's just sitting on top of it? Or is it going to push with the exact same weight as when it's just sitting on top of it? Or do I not know? how hard it's being pushed together. Is there no way to tell? Um, so you'll go through, you'll click on which uh, of the sections you want to sort it into. Do you want to sort this picture into this one or this one? And when you finish, you'll actually um, have a chance to, if you miss some, you'll have a chance to go back and change some of them to try and figure it out. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, and if you uh, enjoyed this video and you learned how to do the concept builder normal force card sort please click that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you the next time on the scientific adventures of beard man